The following broadcast is brought to you by the friends and partners of Revival Ministries International. Father, we pray, let every ear be anointed to hear your word and every heart be receptive to receive all that you have today. Thank you for the privilege we have to come and to be here as part of one family of every tribe and tongue, but we've all been washed in the blood of Jesus, and we thank you for that, and we give you praise. Now, Holy Spirit, do what you want to do, and we thank you for it now. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. You may be seated. I want you to take your Bibles and go with me to the book of Luke, chapter 2. I've titled this message this morning, The Reason for This Season, because how many know that everybody right now is going crazy with Christmas shopping? How many have seen that? I talk to people there on the last minute Christmas shopping, and so if you go anywhere to the stores right now, it is crazy. It is local. People are fighting for parking places. People are jumping in front of other people. And especially if they've got all the sales on, everybody's always looking for a sale. Actual fact, the best time to buy Christmas gifts is next week after Christmas. <laughs> so what you should do is take the family shopping and let them all pick out what they want and say, we'll pick it up next week after Christmas because that's when all the markdowns come. Are you with me? I've just, I've just saved you 50% on your money. Hello. You, I just saved you a huge amount of money. Don't be in a race to get everything before Christmas Day. Wait until the day after Christmas and then watch what happens. It's just going to be a whole lot cheaper. Let me tell you right now. But the reason for the season is really all about Jesus. Now, I said this to you last Sunday. You know, people say, well, Jesus wasn't born in December. We know that. He was probably born around about April. But that doesn't matter. The fact remains is that he was born. And the fact remains that we have a time that we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Are you with me? Now, also, people want to start to argue about everything to do with Christmas and the Christmas tree being a pagan symbol and all that kind of stuff. Look, I can understand what pagan people have done, but I'm not a pagan. I'm a born-again believer. I love Jesus with all my heart. And the fact that we have a tree here today does not symbol anything to do with paganism. It's to do with the fact that Jesus actually hung on a tree. The Bible says that he hung on a cross, and the Bible says in the book of Galatians that he came and he paid the price, and he hung on a tree for us. So God gave the greatest gift to us by putting Jesus on a tree. So you, if you're a pagan, you see one thing. I don't see what you see. I see something totally different. And besides that, I like trees and I like lights. How many like trees and lights? So if you don't like trees and lights, you don't want to be around here. But this whole season is about Jesus. It's where we remember the fact that he came to the earth for one purpose, to go to a place called Calvary to die on the cross for your and my sin. How many are glad that Jesus came to die for us? So verse 1 says, It came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. This sounds like the modern times that we're living in. They want to just tax everybody, like nothing's changed in thousands of years. And this tax was first made when Cyrenus was governor of Syria, and all went to be taxed, everyone to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, under the city of David, which was called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. 
And she brought forth the firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And they were out in the same country, shepherds, abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were so afraid, and the angel said unto them, Fear not, behold, I bring you good tidings of a great joy, which shall be to all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And you shall find, it shall be a sign for you, you will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was an angel, with the angel, a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. And it came to pass, as an angel was gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Now let's go to Bethlehem, and let's see that which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and they were seen as told to them. So the whole announcement of the coming of Jesus, which we call the first Christmas, really was the angels announced the fact that he was coming. The shepherds were in the, in the fields looking after the sheep, and then angels. I mean, you know somebody is really important when an angel announced their birth. Are you with me? If you were a shepherd, how long had you been out with the sheep? Never before in all your years of shepherding had you ever had angels singing in the heavens. But here they are looking after the sheep, and then suddenly there's an angel, and then the heavenly host singing, really joy to the world. The Lord has come. I bring you glad tidings of a great joy. So they were announcing that this babe that was coming was the one that was prophesied, the one that was spoken, that he would come, that God had even spoken back, even in the book of Genesis, where he said the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent, that Jesus was the one that would come, the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world, and that that day was holy, that day was precious, because suddenly it was announced in the heavenly realm that the glad tidings, the good news, the gospel had just arrived, and he was born of a virgin, Jesus This is something that we cannot get over celebrating. In actual fact, we should celebrate Christmas every day. As far as I'm concerned, Christmas is every day. So people say, put down the tree, it's not Christmas. Just keep the trees up. It's Christmas every day. Say this often to me, at the river, it's Christmas day every day. Because at the river, all you're going to hear is joy to the world. Glad tidings of great joy. You're not going to come here and hear sad news, sad tidings of bad things. We might tell you what the world's doing and talk about some of the stuff that's out there that's crazy, but we're always going to come with the solution. God always comes with the solution to the problem. How many have faced any problems? Wave your hand at me right now. Well, I've got good news for you. For whatever problem that you're facing, God comes with good news to bring the solution to the problem that you have. And the solution to the problem you have, he's a person and his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know religious people say, come on, you're making a big thing about it. I mean, we all know about Jesus. What are you talking about? What do you mean I must stop talking about him? You mean you're bored because I'm talking about Jesus? I'm gonna talk about him every day. I'm gonna tell tell the whole world. If the angels could announce it, then I'm going to, I'm not an angel, but I'm going to be making an announcement every day. I'll go around and tell, joy to the world, the Lord has come. I bring you glad tidings of a great joy. Somebody said, who's that? Oh, that's that crazy pastor from the river. He, he thinks it's Christmas again. He thinks it's Christmas. 
If you go there, they're crazy. They give away motor cars on a Sunday morning. They're always giving away stuff. They're blessing everybody. Why are they doing that? We're not doing it so we can buy you. We're not giving you something so we can buy you. We want to bless you. We, we, we endeavoring to be a blessing to the community. That's why we reach out. That's why people go door to door. That's why people go knock on the doors. People open the door. Has anyone ever told you that God loves you, has a great plan for your life? People say, no, never heard it. Why? Because many have never heard. They were never told that God loves them. And they were never told that he has a great plan for their life. All they heard was you're going to burn in hell. All they heard is you're going you're gonna to meet El Diablo. All they heard is you're going to go to hell. But that's not good news. The glad tidings of great joy is that you don't have to go to hell because Jesus came and paid the price. Now, if you listen to the good news, it'll be good news for you. If you don't listen to good news, it'll be bad news. Because between now and the conclusion of the service, I'm going to give everybody an opportunity to either accept him or reject him. Somebody said, well, I don't need to accept the Lord today. Oh, you don't? You mean you know how long you're going to live? You mean you know how many years you have on the earth? You mean you know the exact day that you're going to leave the earth? Wow. Amazing. Well, I've got news for you. You don't know. No one here knows the day you're going to leave the earth. But the Bible says it's appointed that man wants to die and after that the judgment. That's why we preach the gospel. Somebody said, yeah, but don't go and shove it down people's nose and faces. I mean, you just go and shove it down people's faces all the time. Well, if you've got good food, sometimes you're going to make people eat the good food. Open your mouth. I'm going to feed you now. Spit out that other stuff. That's terrible stuff. Put this in. Are you with me? How many do that with the baby? Well, we have to do that with people. They don't know what's good. They're eating all the slop of the world. They're eating all the lies of hell. They're eating everything. They're eating uh, uh, marijuana cookies. Why are you eating that cookie? It's for my health. <laughs> they eat, they're eating everything that the devil has cooked up in his kitchen, and they wonder why everything's going wrong. They wonder why their marriage is failing, why their children are gangsters, why the children are shooting in the neighborhood, why their husband and wife are shouting at each other, throwing pots and pans around the kitchen. Are you with me? I mean, all they ever know is, they lost their house, they lost their car, they lost their dog, they lost everything that they had. That's why in America they have country and western music, because it's all a story of bad news. If you play country and western music backwards, you get your house back, your car back, your dog back, and your truck back. And I, I believe there's even got Spanish country music now. They've got Spanish country music. It's always a, a story, a bad story about how bad it is. I heard a tune, and it, the whole thing was in Spanish, and I liked it. I said, oh, that's a great song. I love it. They said, oh, pastor, no. I said, no, yes, I love that song. No, it's about a man who came and took his wife away from him, this other man. And I said, but I like the tune. Yeah, but the song is bad, pastor. Yeah. I thought, that's a great song. There must be a great song. He said, it's a terrible song. It was a Spanish song. I heard the music. I thought, that must be a good song. And they said, no, Pastor, terrible. The words are bad. He lost his wife to another man. That's why he's just sitting in a bar drinking another tequila. <laughs> so, if you notice, there's a worm in the bottom, you know. And the devil always got a worm in there somewhere. Are you with me? So they sing bad news. Their whole life is about bad news. They put on the television. They put on CNN, Telemundo, uh, NBC, ABC, bad news. Everything's bad news. Bad, bad. They call the family, bad news. The neighbor, bad news. Everything bad. They put on Facebook, bad news. Everything's bad. How are you doing? Oh, terrible. The last week was terrible. This week's going to be even worse. There's no life. There's no joy. 
You say, well, joy to the world. Where is it? I don't have any of the joy because you're looking for joy in the wrong places. Joy's got nothing to do with the new house, the new car, the new wife, the new whatever you might acquire. Joy has to do with a person and his name is Jesus and he has to come on the inside of you. This Christmas season, your whole life needs to be transformed because of what Jesus is going to do on the inside of you. And then from today, your whole life is going to be a joy to the world. When people see you, when you walk in a room, you're going to lift everybody's spirits. When you come into a place, it's going to be a brighter day. Are you with me? Glad tidings. In actual fact, you'll irritate religious people because they go, I don't want to hear it again. He's going to come here. I'm really going through a bad time, and he's going to tell me that we have a solution. And I don't want to hear about the solution. I really want to sit and cry because I really want everybody else to cry with me of how bad things are. That's why they go sit and drink all night and sit in a pub somewhere and just drink himself into stupor. We're not talking about religion. Religion is something you practice on a Sunday morning. We're not practicing anything. We live this way. You can live this way. And you have to make that decision. But you can't live in two worlds. You can't put one foot in the kingdom and one foot in in the world. You can't live for God Sunday and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you live for the devil. You can't. You have to make a choice. The choice is yours. You can't buy this. You cannot earn this. It is free. Because he gave his life, blood, for you and for me. This is muy importante. This is very important for you to grab a hold of today. This very day, somebody's life's going to go from death to life. Someone in this place, your whole life is going to be transformed forever. On this, the 18th day of December 2022, from this day, your life is never going to be the same again. From this life, the power of the devil is going to be broken off of you. From this life, from this moment, the very attack against your life that is trying to destroy you is going to be broken. From this day, every attachment to drugs and alcohol and every lie of lust and pornography is going to be broken off of you. You're going to come out of here free from this day. Every spirit of fear that has held you in captivity is going to be broken off of you. Not by man, but by this Jesus that we sing about. And then you're going to run out of here going joy to the world. Joy to the world, you're going to tell everybody, you're going to tell, you're going to call your friends and family, you're going to call your loved ones, wherever they live, and tell them, tell them of the goodness, tell them of the glory of God and what God's done for you. If we just turned loose the testimonies right here, we would be here all day and tomorrow and the next day with testimony after testimony after testimony of people that sat right where you are in a mess, but then Jesus took their mess made it a message, and now it's one of glory and grace, and they see the hand of God. I'm telling you right now, this is the way God wants you to live. That's why Jesus came. That's the reason for the season. And when you see the world running around, acting like crazy people, fighting over parking places, trying to get in the store, trying to get the deal, you don't even have to worry about it because God's going to give you the very desires of your heart and those things will come to you. You won't be out there looking for those things. Those things will find you. They will come to your house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then you'll give him the glory and the praise. I want to just say this to all my Hispanic friends here. The devil came with this thing called COVID-19 and put a fear inside many people. He did it amongst the African-American community, amongst all the churches where everybody thought that they were going to die. That's a lie. You're not going to die. When the enemy wouldn't even let people leave their house, where they had to stay in their house because they were nervous that they were going to die. People had to cover their faces because they were afraid they're going to get infected. 
There's been plagues in the world for thousands of years, and people have lived. And what has been perpetrated upon humanity was not an accident. This was an assignment from hell on purpose to destroy the people of God and destroy God's people. But the fact that you are here today, the fact that you're seated here today means that the enemy did not succeed with your life. The fact that you are seated here today means that God's hand is upon you and you're not going to die prematurely, that you're going to accomplish what God has called you to accomplish, that your life is going to be a testimony of His glory and His grace. Even this very day, I come against any form of fear that's held you in captivity. And from this very moment, it is broken off of your life. And you walk out of this place changed, not by the hand of man, but by the hand of the Lord, because he loves you. So Jesus is the reason for this season. But I, it doesn't end after Christmas. January, he's the reason for January. He's the reason for February. He's the reason for March and April and May and June and July. Amen. Hallelujah. Every day for me is Good News Day. Every day for me is Joy to the World Day. Hallelujah. But this has to come alive on the inside of you. And it's not even that you have to even announce it. It's just when you walk in the room, it's there. And when you walk in the room, the very atmosphere of the room changes. Why? Because he's on the inside of you. You're going to be made a blessing to many this Christmas. You're going to be a blessing to your family, to your friends, your loved ones, and even to your neighborhood. Those shepherds were the first ones to experience salvation. They were the first ones to experience that good news. They were the first ones to become evangelists, to go and tell everybody. I don't know about you, I would never be able to be a shepherd again, just looking off the sheep. I'd, I'd keep looking up to see if another angel was going to sing. I, I'd spend the rest of my life going around, I'm going to tell you what happened. I was just a shepherd in a field, and one day I was just sitting there, and it was the middle of the night, and then the sky got bright, and they started singing, and they said joy to the world, and I've never seen anything like it before, and I've never felt anything like it before, and my whole life changed, and then I went to go find out where he was, and I found him. He was right there just like the angel said. And today I've come to tell you that good news. Today, he's going to be born in you. Today, that life is going to come on the inside of you. Today, Jesus is going to become real to you. I meet so many ministers. Jesus is not real to them. I meet many pastors. Jesus is not real to them. I meet evangelists. Jesus is not real to them. But when Jesus becomes real to you, your whole life changes. You'll never be the same again. People will call you crazy. They'll say you're over the top. But when Jesus is over the top, you can't look in his face and be normal ever again. You can't just meet Jesus and just be a nominal Christian. Impossible! When you meet Jesus, you go walking and leaping and praising God, and then you've got to run and tell everybody. You've got to grab people and shake them and say, I've got to tell you about Jesus. I've got to tell you the good news. Did you see how happy people were just when they got a vehicle? Was speechless beside themselves, so happy, didn't know what to do with themselves. Uh, what we give you today is greater than a motor vehicle. Let me tell you, God will give you all the cars you want. You won't even be able to <laughs> you won't even be, <laughs> you won't even be able to drive the cars anymore. You'll be you'll be trying to drive your car, you can't drive it because you have too many cars. God don't care about cars. He cares about you. He loves you. He's here for you. He died for you. He, his grace reaches out to you. And even when you go home, you can get sleep because some of you look like you haven't slept in a week.
Never seen so many people fall asleep in a Sunday morning service. Lord have mercy. Up all night, huh? Glad tidings. Glad tidings of great joy. You knew I was going to do I was just looking for somebody to do that to. Somebody said, is he going to do that to me? If I have to, I'll climb over the rows of people and grab a hold of you so that you can take it personally. Glad tidings. Everybody say glad tidings. Glad tidings. Great joy. Gozo. Gozo de Dios. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you think there were maybe a couple of shepherds there that just said, ah, it's rubbish? I'm just asking. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. Do you think there were a couple of shepherds that were maybe a little way off? They saw the light. They saw, heard some noise, but they didn't really, like, believe it. How many think there must have been a couple of shepherds like that? You know, God will never force anything upon people. But everybody will be presented with the truth. And then everybody has to make a decision. Do I believe that that's for me? Or do I believe it's only for somebody else? When you, but when you know it's for you, that if you were the only person on the face of the earth, that Jesus would have come and died for you personally. When you, when you believe that, that's when it becomes real to you. When you believe that every promise in the Word of God is yours, that's when it becomes real to you. That's when you step out of religion and tradition into a relationship with the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And I'm here to tell you Jesus is coming very, very soon. How many know we ride at the closing of the ages right now? I want to encourage everybody to watch the news program that I did this morning. It's shocking expose of what's being planned. But I'm not here to talk to you about that, but get to watch it later. Today I want to give an invitation. I want everybody to listen carefully. I'm going to ask that everybody to bow your heads. Just close your eyes for a moment. I says, if you'd help me even in the lobby, please, make sure people are inside. Would you bow your heads, please? I want to give an invitation. Maybe you came here today. You've never given your life to Jesus. You have never personally said, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. But today you felt the presence of God. And today you hear the Lord calling you. Today he says, come unto me. Oye, dice, Ven a mí. All you that labor and are heavy laden. Todo que tienen carga pesada sobre su vida. And I'm going to give you rest. Y te voy a dar descanso. Take my yoke upon you. Toma mi yugo sobre ti. Learn of me. Prende de mí. My yoke is easy. Mi yugo es liviano. And my burden is light. Y mi carga es liviana. Today he calls you. Oye, te llama. 
Will you surrender to him today? Te someterá a él el día de hoy. You might never have another opportunity. Quizás no tendrá otra oportunidad. Today might be your last day on the earth. Hoy quizás sea el último día en la tierra para ti. You might go home and put your head on your pillow. Quizás vaya a la casa y ponga su cabeza en la almohada. In the middle of the night you en, fall asleep. En el medio de la noche te quedas dormido. And you never wake up again. Y nunca despierto otra vez. Where will you go? ¿A dónde irás? Where will you spend eternity? ¿A dónde pasará la eternidad? Will you receive him today? Los, los, los This recibirá hoy. This season is really about Jesus. Esta temporada de Jesús. The greatest gift that you can get this Christmas. El mejor regalo que le puedo dar a Jesús. Is receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Es recibirlo como su Salvador. The greatest gift God could ever give you. El mejor regalo que te puede dar. Is the gift of His Son. Es el regalo de su hijo. But you have to accept it today. Pero tú tienes que recibirlo hoy. Maybe you've come here today. Quizás usted vino hoy. You don't know him. Tú no lo conoces. But today you want to accept him. Pero hoy lo quieres recibir. Maybe you've come here today. Quizás usted vino hoy. You gave your life to the Lord in days gone by. Le diste su vida a Cristo hace tiempo atrás. Maybe even as a little child. Quizás como niño chiquito. But you've grown cold. Pero te has enfriado. You're not serving God like you should. No lo estás sirviendo como lo debe servir. But today you say I want to come back. Pero hoy dice yo quiero regresar today hoy. Today I want to give my life to the Lord afresh. Hoy quiero dar mi vida a Jesús de nuevo. He calls you. Él te llama. Maybe you're here today. Quizás está aquí hoy. And you gave your life to the Lord. Y usted le dio su vida al Señor. But your heart became hard. Pero su corazón se endureció. These hidden things. Cosas escondidas. That you've never dealt with. Que usted nunca le dio con él. Pride, unforgiveness. Orgullo, falta de perdón. Bitterness. Rencor, resentimiento, celos. Unforgiveness. Falta de perdón. Anger. Enojo, ira. Lust. Lujuria. Hidden things. Cosas escondidas. That block your heart. Que y But tu today corazón. you want to be free. Pero hoy ser libre. He said, "I will take out the stony heart dice, la, and put in the heart of flesh." Y un de carne. Will you let him do that for you today? Que lo haga por ti hoy? Maybe you hear. Está aquí. You say, "Pastor." Dice, Pastor it's not hidden. No it's open for all es, to see. Para que todo lo pueda ver. And God surely can do nothing with me. Y Dios no puede hacer nada After all the bad that I've done. De toda cosa mala que yo he hecho. I'm so glad yo estoy that God is not que Dios no es limited limitado to what you've done or haven't done. A lo que tú has hecho lo que no has But hecho. God is unlimited Pero Dios es sin to what Jesus has done en lo que Jesús ha hecho on the cross of Calvary, en la cruz de Calvary. and his blood y su that was shed for you. Que fue por ti. Will you say yes, Lord? Le dirá, sí, oh, a Jesús. He will come and he will do that. Él vendrá y lo hará por ti. Maybe you're here today. Quizá está aquí. You say, Pastor, Dice, Pastor, a storm came against my life, una tormenta vino contra mi vida. especially the last three years. Especial a sudden divorce, un divorcio, de repente, a bankruptcy, una bancarrota, the loss of a loved one, la de una, de una a mitad, sudden illness, una enfermedad, the betrayal of a close friend, la de un amigo, the loss of a job, la de un trabajo, something happened that shook my world. Algo que mi vida. But today I'm coming back. Pero hoy otra I'm going to fall in love with Jesus all over again. Voy a de Jesús otra vez. Will you let him come Permitirá que and do that in your life today? Que en tu vida hoy. And then lastly, y último, Maybe you're here today. You say, say I love the Lord. Dice, Yo amo al Señor. I really love him. Yo but lo amo. I don't know. Pero no sé. I don't have the assurance Yo no tengo esa that I'm a child of God. Que soy hijo de Dios. But today I want to know that I know that I know Por hoy que no sabe, de que sé de that que I'm a child of God. Que soy hijo de Dios. Would you make sure today if you fit in any one of these categories I want to pray for you now right where you are quickly put your hand up and say pray for me pray for me pray for me I want every person with your hand in the air to stand right now stand to your feet every person with your hand in the air stand to your feet stand stand I want you to bring your personal belongings and I want you to come stand and fill up the altar I'm going to pray for you I'm going to lead you in a prayer Today is your day Hoy es tu día of freedom. De libertad. Today is your day. Hoy es el día. Today is your day. Hoy es tu día. Just come. Ven. Just come. Ven. Just come right now. Ven, pase adelante. Just come right now. Venga adelante. Just come right now. Venga. 
This is what the devil didn't want. Esto es lo que el diablo no quería. This is why he tried to shut the church down. Por eso es que quería cerrar las iglesias. Come now. Ven ahora. Come now. He Ven calls ahora. Él te llama. Come now. He calls. Ven you. ahora. Él te llama. Come now. Ven ahora. He's calling you. Él te está llamando. Just fill up this whole altar. Se llena el altar. You can pack him around the platform, guys. Just come. Ven. Just come. Simplemente ven. Today is the day of salvation. Hoy es el día de salvación. That's why we did this river fest today. Por eso crecimos esto hoy. This service was especially for you today. Este servicio fue especialmente para ti hoy. Not only will all the kids get blessed today. No solamente los niños van a ser bendecidos. But today eternal life is yours. Pero hoy la eternidad es para ti. You might have been going one way, but God's going to turn your whole life around. This very day, the power of sin will be broken. This very day, you will leave this place. Totally changed. Totalmente cambiado. Not by the hand of man. No por la mano del hombre. But by the hand of the Lord. Sino por la mano del Señor. Jesus loves you so Jesus much. Te ama tanto. He loves you so much. Él te ama tanto. He calls you today. Él te llama hoy. He says, Come. Él dice, Ven. Come unto me. Ven unto me. All you that labor and have a Todo que tienen carga pesada. I'm going to give you rest. Te voy a dar descanso. Come to me. Ven a mí. Jesus is calling. Jesús te está llamando. He's calling now. Él te está llamando ahora. He's calling now. Él te está llamando ahora. He loves you. Él te ama. No turning back. No turning back. No regresando. Take the whole world, but give me Jesus. You can take the whole world, but give me Jesus. You can take the whole world. Turning back. No turning back. The cross before me, the world behind me. The cross before me. the coming let me just instruct you about something from January the 1st the whole process of getting in here will change we're in the process of transitioning and so it'll be much easier to get everybody in because we used to do this a lot before COVID antes, sí, momento, antes de COVID. but then we had to put certain things in place to protect the people. Para proteger a la gente. And that's why we make people register. Y por eso que hacemos que la gente se registre. And I mean, there was one Sunday. Y un domingo. We turned away 600 people that wouldn't que, register. Que tuvimos que negar 600 personas que no querían registrarse. And somebody said, why, why did you do that? Y uno dice, ¿por qué hiciste eso? Because we had death threats against the church. Porque hemos tenido amenazas de muerte a la iglesia. And I had to protect the people. Y tuvimos que proteger a las iglesias. How many are glad that we protect the people? ¿Cuántos estamos contentos que protegemos a la gente? So I know it was a little to get in here. Yo sé que es difícil para entrar. But if you go to any of the parks, it takes a while to get in there. And this is much better than a park. Because this ride is eternal. Let me tell you right now. So today, 
Así que hoy I'm going to pray with you. Voy a orar por ti. I see they're still coming over here. Veo que siguen entrando por aquí. But if you mean business with God, pero si eres eres serio con el Señor, God means business with you. Yo voy a hacer negocio contigo. Now I want you to look at me. Mira mami. I come from Africa. Yo vengo desde África. God sent me here as a missionary. Yo me envió aquí como misionero. My wife and I came here with three hundred dollars. Mi esposa y yo llegamos aquí con trescientos dólares. We didn't know anybody. No conocíamos a nadie. We didn't even even have a green card. Ni tener una tarjeta verde. We were illegal. Éramos <laughs> ilegal. I was an illegal alien. Yo era un era ilegal. Anyway, but the Lord helped me. Pero el Señor me ayudó. So I understand all that. Sí que yo entiendo todo eso. I'm a citizen now. Yo soy un soy legal. You know, if there's anybody out there, sí, I'm, I'm you say legal ahora. But the bottom line is, God called me from Africa. Pero yo me llamó ahora de África. And we came to America. Y vine a América. And we have traveled to 85 countries. Y hemos viajado a 85 naciones of the world. Del mundo entero. From Mexico. Desde México. To Guatemala. A Guatemala. To Argentina. Argentina. We, we've been 85 countries of the world. 85 naciones del mundo entero. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Hey, we listen. There are some more countries, and we're still going to go there. But 85 already. But we've been to 85 ahora. And I've had the privilege of doing this. Hemos tenido el privilegio de hacer esto. In the Dominican Republic. En la República Dominicana. It doesn't matter where. People are the same. No importa, la gente son lugar igual donde quiera que vaya. And we give the message. Y damos el mensaje. Of the gospel. Del evangelio. And people accept Jesus. Y la gente recibe a Jesús. And then God transforms their life. Entonces Dios transforma su vida. The dean of our university. El decano de la universidad. He's from Cuba. Soy de Cuba. His wife is from Cuba. Mi esposa de Cuba. We have many people from many tribes and tongues. Tenemos gente de muchos tribus y lenguas. But it's all because of Jesus. Pero es todo por Jesús. That He comes. Que él viene. And does a work in our heart. Y es un trabajo en nuestro corazón. And today He's going to do a work in your heart. Y hoy va a ser un trabajo en su corazón. So I want you to close your eyes. Sí, quiero que cierres sus ojos. And I want you to pray a prayer after me. Quiero que ores tan oración después de mí. Believe it in your heart. Cree en tu corazón. Pray with your mouth. Ora con tu boca. You that are watching in your home. Que están mirando por televisor. Cree en tu corazón. Pray with your mouth. Y ora con su boca. One of the things Una de las cosas that I've seen que yo he visto in all 85 countries en 85 naciones is every person that meant business with God. Que cada persona que que ese negocio con Dios. God came and touched their life. Dios vino y tocó su vida. And totally transformed their life. Y transformó su vida. And today God is using them in a powerful way. Y Dios lo está usando hoy una vida poderosa. And that's going to happen for you today. Y eso va a suceder con usted and hoy. And even for many of these little children y here. Y muchos de niños pequeños. Standing here, parados aquí, are going to be future pastors, van a ser pastores futuros, and evangelists, evangelistas, and businessmen, y hombres de and negocios, businesswomen, y mujeres de negocios, that God's going to raise up, que Dios va a levantar, and use in a powerful way, y usar una vida poderosa. So close your eyes. Cierren sus ojos. Raise your right hand to heaven. Levante su mano derecha al cielo. Pray this after me right now. Ora después de mi hora. Say, Father, I come to you. Padre, vengo a ti. Father, I come to you. Padre, vengo a ti. Say it. Say it in Spanish. Padre, vengo a ti. In the precious name, en el nombre precioso, of your Son Jesus, de tu hijo Jesús. Lord, you said in your word, para decir tu palabra. If I confess, si yo confieso, with my mouth, con mi boca, Jesus, Jesús, is my Lord, es mi Señor, and my Savior, y mi Salvador. And I believe in my heart, y lo creo mi corazón, that God has raised you from the dead, que Dios te ha levantado de los muertos. I will be saved. Seré salvo. So, Father, right now, sí que padre ahora, I confess. Confieso ahora. Jesus, Jesús, is my Lord. Es mi señor. And my Savior. Y Salvador. Come into my heart right now. Entra en mi corazón ahora. Take out the stony heart. Quita este corazón de piedra. Put in a heart of flesh. Por un corazón de carne. Wash me. Lávame. Cleanse me. Limpiame. Change me. Cámbiame. Fill me. Lléname. Use me. Úsame. Let me never be the same again. Déjame no ser igual otra vez. I turn my back on the world. Le doy la espalda al mundo. I turn my back on sin. Le doy la espalda al pecado. And I follow you, Lord Jesus. Y te sigo a ti, Señor Jesús. Thank you for dying for me. Gracias por morir por mí. Thank you for shedding your blood for me. Gracias por derramar su sangre por mí. Thank you that on the third day you rose for me. Gracias que te sentí de levantarte por mí. And thank you that you're coming back again for me. Y gracias que regresas otra vez por mí. From this day on. Desde este día adelante. I will never be. Nunca. 
the same again. Será igual otra vez. I confess. Yo confieso. Jesus Christ. Jesús has come in the flesh. He venido en la carne. He is. Él es. My Lord. Mi Señor. And my Savior. Y mi Salvador. And right now. Y ahora. By faith. Por fe. In the finished work of the cross. En el trabajo completo de la cruz. And by the shed blood of Jesus. Y por la sangre de Jesús. I am saved. Yo soy salvo. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. For saving me now. Por salvarme ahora. Now lift those hands. Para levante sus manos. And thank him right now. Now. Thank him right now. Thank him right now. Gracias. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now just lift those hands. I'm going to pray over you. Father, I pray of every precious one standing here. I break every lie of hell off of them. I break every curse of witchcraft against their life. I break it now. I send it back to its place of origin. From this very day, your whole life will be changed. From this very day you will be on a different path seal them now till the day of redemption and raise them up and use them to be mighty men and women of God I put the blood of Jesus on them now I put the blood of Jesus on you now heal everybody set them free from every addiction from every lie of hell Give everyone here a miracle in their life. In Jesus' name. And now, Lord, fill them with your joy. 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 Fill them. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for watching today on YouTube. Please press the subscribe button and also the notification button and like and get the word out so others can watch.